Mirador is an open source web-based image viewing environment that can zoom, display, compare, and annotate images from around the world. Here are some of Mirador's key features. Starting from an empty Mirador workspace, you can open a new collection from a list of available items from image repositories around the world. Mirador is fully compatible with the International Image Interoperability Framework Image and Presentation APIs, so this list can be populated from any IIIF source. Notice in this instance, items are available from the eCodices Project, National Library of Wales, Harvard University, the Bibliothèque Nationale de France, Yale, and Stanford. From this window, I can filter the objects in the list, and if I know the URL of any IIIF manifests, I can add that resource too. I'll start by opening a 15th century manuscript digitized by Harvard University Libraries. The organization of the window consists of my main image viewport with smooth pan and zoom. I can navigate to the next and previous page using controls on either side of the viewport. Below the image, we see a thumbnail strip that offers us a second means of navigating the collection. Labels appear below the thumbnail for easy reference. If more detailed structural information is available, a table of contents will appear to the left of the image viewport. This is a third means of navigating the object. Notice that when I navigate using any one of these controls, the image, thumbnails, and table of contents all stay synchronized. You can also hide the table of contents or a thumbnail panel to view more of the image in the viewport. And for maximum visibility, you can view the object in your monitor's full screen mode. You can also choose from several ways to view the object. For example, we may want to view this manuscript in book mode, which arranges the pages in a two-page spread, better approximating the physical reading experience of the book. You can also zoom and pan the virtual two-page spread. The horizontal scroll view and thumbnail gallery allow you to more easily find images you're looking for in a large collection. Metadata for the object, supplied by the repository, can be viewed by clicking the information icon. You can use these tools to view and explore many types of structured image collections, whether artwork, photography, x-ray imagery, or books. You can also use Mirador to annotate regions of images with description and tags. By turning on annotation mode, I can see annotations that have already been made. I can also edit annotations or add new ones. The real power of Mirador comes with its ability to compare multiple images from different repositories in the same workspace. This menu allows me to add new slots to lay out a comparison workspace. For example, if I add a slot to the right, I can add a new item for comparison. I can control each object independently to easily compare them side by side at the appropriate zoom level. You can make this layout as complex and specific as you like. To quickly lay out the workspace in a uniform grid of comparison windows, you can use Mirador's Change Layout panel. All the same zoom, pan, annotation, and navigation controls are available in each window. Once you've arranged a complex workspace to compare different objects at different zoom levels, you can save a bookmarked version to share with a colleague or embed in your website or blog. Mirador also saves your workspace arrangement and open items locally so that you don't have to worry about accidentally losing your workspace by closing a tab or hitting the back button. Finally, Mirador is offered to the community as free and open source software. We can't wait to see how you use it in your scholarship, teaching, writing, and exhibitions. If you'd like to participate in Mirador design and development and the IIIF community, visit the repository on GitHub or visit the IIIF community website at IIIF.io.